I came here to United States a month ago after I escaped my country. And I think it's time to expose what's going on there. The penalty in Saudi Arabia for somebody like me who uh, opposed the, the government is um, beheaded. There are so many things that women can't do in Saudi because it's law. They can't do anything without a male guardian's consent. When I was in Saudi Arabia, if I wanted to even go to the supermarket, I have to inform everyone in the house. I couldn't drive. My father wasn't even thinking about teaching me how to drive because it's against the law. The laws in Saudi are doing that systematically to discriminate against women. Nobody talks about it. Guardianship system, it's a slavery. It's the worst human rights violation. Sometimes you feel like your life is worthless. I felt like I was nothing but commodity. What really scares me is that I wouldn't get this asylum and I would be returned and then I would die young and that I would lose everything I tried to build, that I would just fail. I escaped in a night. My father was still awake and he was watching TV. I was really scared if he would notice that I'm going out of my room. I was prepared that in any second, I'm gonna be dead. I haven't heard my parents' voice since I left Saudi and I wish I never do. Girls back home, they're suffering. And some of them, they can't speak. So since I'm here and I'm in a free country, I can talk. I can help them. I felt extremely scared when I first got here. And I still feel that same fear. Will I be able to make it? Or will, am I just gonna fail? All I really want is just to live normally without fear and not have to pretend to be somebody else. That's all I ever want. I feel like this is what I've always wanted ever since I decided that I don't want to live in Saudi anymore. That this is, this is what I've been working towards. I want to go back to a 17-year-old me and tell her, you're going to do it. <laughs> and I feel like I want to go and, and just talk to other Saudi girls that go through this, leaving their homes and being ostracized by their families having no one, you know, you can do it too.